so then there's uh, shield capacity modules, which, uh, if you guys remember the old uh, Draconic Evolution, there were shields. Uh, there were shields in the armor. The uh, the uh, the chess piece does have. Uh, it's actually uh, these are actually upgrades or modules. These can go in here, and those will provide the shields to you. You do need shields in order to survive the Chaos Guardian. You do need shield modules in order to survive the Chaos Guardian. There is absolutely no questioning it. You do need shields. So, yeah. there's uh, These will take up a one by one. I think this this is five shields, and this will take uh, this will be a two by two. So this basically is this basically is five shields for the cost of four slots in your armor, which is you know that's pretty cool. I think oh yeah you can decraft these, uh, but you lose you lose the uh, draconium course because of course you do. Love that. All right, and then there oh yeah there's an auto feed module. I forgot about that. Hill step, jump. I eh, don't really need those. Uh, I think the the energy modules would actually be really handy to teach the system because I mean without them uh, without the energy modules the draconic capacitor is useless so let's do ener energy module so ugh. this is going to be a lot of crafting wait hang on did I teach? No, I didn't. Te I didn't teach this one. This is going to be a lot of stuff, by the way. I mean, uh, the module core should be fine. It should be fine to teach. This is going to be a lot of. Uh, this is going to be a lot of stuff. Just let's see. Energy module. So I mean, even with one energy module in my in my draconic capacitor. This flux capacitor is put to shame because this because uh, this will be able to handle a lot more RF. Yeah, because energy transfer 256,000 RF per tick, 16 million RF. This only holds 8 million. Oof. Even with one. Oh, six, okay. Hold on. Let's do module. Let's just go ahead and do one draconic energy module in my capacitor because it can. Okay. I mean this this is gonna be very nice. This is gonna be super nice. So do that, and then this will start accepting power. Sweet. Alrighty. Okay, so then if I wanted to discharge this, I mean this is eight million RF. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to like. Hmm. Do I have a? Uh, is there? Is there like a dynamo for that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a dynamo for this. Numismatic, magmatic, compression, sterling. Huh, maybe not. Maybe there wasn't one. Maybe there wasn't a dynamo for that. There is a way to discharge this, I believe. Or maybe there isn't. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, oh, wait. What about an energy cube? I do have an energy cube on me. Can I... Hold on. Uh, let's do HUD. Nope. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and turn all of that off for the time being. Oh, this goes into any curious slot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put this back by the input to my uh, uh, to my uh, my flux thing. Let's do this. That's an easy way to discharge. I like it. That's an easy way to discharge my uh, my flux capacitor. Though this is limited at sixteen thousand RF, so you know again. Uh, you are put to shame by the uh, by the draconic one. You served me well. Uh, you served me well f um, for a while, but eh, you know, it's time. Uh, it's just time to move on. All right. 
So first things first, let's get this in here so that way it doesn't get any more power. Next, how about we... Well, let's take out the upgrades from here. And... I mean, you are pathetic now. Oh, wait, can I uncraft and grinder this? Okay. What about this? I'm going to say no. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know that it was not going to work? I mean, that worked, though. Okay. So now we just turn all of these back on. And do... Nope, not that. This. Okay, the Draconic chess piece. Uh, we will need at least one energy module. Hold on. Yeah, let's, I might as well just go ahead and search module. Just see what other kinds of modules that I may want. Shield recovery would actually be really nice. Uh, oh, that's a, a lot more expensive than I thought. Okay, so four netherite per. Oh, boy. Then the chaotic one. Okay, so the chaotic one doesn't require netherite. Let's see. Flight module. Elytra does not currently work when chess piece is in a curio slot. Okay, interesting. But I don't really need the flight module, considering I have the angel ring from Mini Utilities. Yeah, Mini Utilities angel ring. For the win. Don't really need that. I don't really need the flight module. Though maybe maybe it wouldn't hurt to have it, just because I remember the I remember the flight module is very helpful at uh, at getting you out of danger quickly. Then there's the undying module. Uh, invulnerable time, three seconds. Shield boost, 50 for 30 seconds. Invulnerable time, three seconds. Charge time, 60 seconds. Health boost, 12 health points. Charge energy, 10 million operational potential. Max insoluble, two. So, undying module. That's, oh, that's a totem of undying. But I need, I also need totems of un, okay, so let's see. Undying? I only have one of these. The soulstone, uh, the soulstone, I think, is also. Hmm. Okay. Let's just let's just take a look at other things. So let's see. Uh, there's the auto feed module, um, energy module again, speed, damage. Uh, damage would really only work in the uh, in the staff of power or or the sword probably. Uh, AOE uh, might also be only in the, uh, you know, never mind. Uh, projectile would be the bow. Projectile accuracy would also be the bow. Inaccuracy. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, projectile gravity compensation module. Projectile penetration module. Increases the chance that a projectile will pass through a target and potentially hit additional. Okay. Projectile damage. Projectile immunity cancellation. So you can use your bow on Enderman. Shield control. Shield cooldown. What is the shield control module? I actually don't know. Uh... I think I may need to look at that up. Be right back. Well, I'm out of luck. The FTB wiki does not have any information about these modules, so I have no idea what the, I have no idea what the shield control module is. But I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming I need one of these in order to in order to make a shield or in order to have a shield. Uh, it does say shield cooldown ten seconds. I'm assuming I'm assuming I need at least one of these. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. So, oh, wait, hold on. This needs netherite scrap? That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, so then there's the large shield capacity module. Okay. I should probably, I should probably get at least one energy module. Nope, not a thousand, please. Not a thousand. Maybe we should just go ahead and uh, let's do. Let's go ahead and do this, and then 
this. Might, it might just be handy for some recipes going forward. Even though I could totally put it in a, in a compacting drawer. So, you know. All right, uh, energy, energy module, draconic. Might as well, uh, might as well use one of these. So this goes in the body, which would be here. No shield installed. Okay. So shield. Oh wait, I have a shield. Two draconic. Okay, let's do this. Mm, let's do this. Particle generator. This needs a dragon heart? Oh my god, why did I do... Why did I... You're kidding me. Is that the only instance? Okay, that's the only instance where I need a dragon heart. Alright. Alright, I guess I am going to kill another dragon. So let's get four end crystals and I'll be right back. Okay, I have a dragon heart. Now, wyvern shield control module. Boom. Let's do the Draconic one as well. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need Draconic cores for that. Okay, uh, Wyvern core. Nope, Wyvern core. 32 diamonds? Oh my god, that's like, that's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Totally forgot how expensive that was, but all good. Then two Nether Stars. My dragons are gonna be running for a little bit, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine that the dragons are running. I I should I should think about uh, automating this, but you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I feel like I say don't worry about it a lot this episode. Like uh, like when the withers are running. I don't know why I'm saying don't worry about it so much. It's it's perfectly fine to worry, but you know. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade this Draconic Shield Control Module. This is a two by two module, so this takes up this takes up four slots. But this has a cooldown. Uh, this has a shield. Uh, so uh, so the Shield Control Module is necessary in order to have a shield. Apparently, so yeah. All right, let's double check. Let's see. At Draconic module. So now I can and now I can load this thing up with like shield capacity modules, for example. So maybe like the top row could be like it could be like energy modules and then like and then some shield modules and maybe a couple of undying. Maybe a couple of undying modules would be nice as well. Oh, shield recovery would actually be really good as well. Um yeah, so maybe load this up with some energy. Maybe load, uh, I mean, this can take a lot of energy modules, and I mean a lot. Yeah, this is gonna take a lot of them. Like, uh, this is a five by five, so 24 more. Hmm. I might as well go big. Like, uh, how much stuff would this need? A lot more gold than I have, a lot more diamonds than I have. Is that it? Yeah, so a lot more gold and diamonds than I have right now. So, so I would need to figure out. Uh, hold on, how are my zombie hearts doing? Not great, but you know, it's a it's a it's a moderate source of it's a moderate source of gold. So, you know, five hundred nineteen. Eh, not a lot. Yeah, I mean, uh, hold on, let's take a look here. So. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, can I make seven more? Let's see. Energy. Can I make seven more of these? I can. But that's, that's going to take a lot of materials. Holy crap. I might as well, I might as well load up my chest plate. And just, you know. Really? I can't do that? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so this can this can transfer a lot of power. This, yeah, I'm gonna need more energy modules for there. So let's see. Um, how many how many more can I comfortably make? Ten? Uh, nine? 
Nope. Seven. I mean, I might as well. I might as well give my uh, give my flux capacitor some more energy storage. You know, that'd be that'd be nice. There we go. Now this can uh, this can hold a lot more power. So, it, well, it can also handle a lot more power. What about this? Okay, limit is disabled here. There's a big buffer in here. What the heck? Okay, how's this doing in terms of power? Okay, doing pretty well. Withers are going. The withers are doing their thing, so I just need to, I just need to let them die. And uh, yeah, does this thing like detect if there's a wither there or something, and not build until it, the wither is dead? Because that's actually kind of cool if it does. This is uh, this is actually very nice. Just having a bunch of power just sitting here, and like I'm not even using that much. So, <laughs> wow, it's actually going to take a while to fill up that orb, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about how much time it'll take to fill the orb because you know power comes and goes. And for this, you know, it's actually it's actually working. I like it. I like it. All right, so how much stuff do I have? Let's see, diamond? Ew. Hold on, module. Can I make another one? Nope, I need I need six diamonds per. So I can't make another energy module. Which means I am gonna need more diamonds. Yeah, so I'm gonna need more diamonds, which probably means I should, uh, Probably means I should like put. Oh, hold on. Am I was I using a lot of? Wasn't I using a lot of gold? All right, hold on. I'm not using as. Wait a minute. Is all my iron going in here? Maybe. I... Dang it. That's the problem with having this. That's the problem with having this drawer of iron that, that I can that I could turn into star metal. Or since iron is used for stuff in industrial foregoing, uh, iron ore, I should say, I need to have some iron ore in reserve. But all my iron, ugh, all my iron ore is going into the drive. That's not good. So how do I prevent that? How do I prevent the iron ore from going into the drive? There's got to be some way. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what I can do. So unfortunately, I have to have iron going in here. Otherwise, I would totally blacklist it. Hmm. Though it wouldn't be a bad idea if I just if, if I just like blacklisted it all together and then just like filled it up whenever I needed it. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe I should do that. Or maybe, hmm. Actually, actually, using the, using the interface, eh, maybe not. I wouldn't do that actually. Um, let's just get iron. Let's just get my iron ore, and uh, let's just go ahead and blacklist it in here. And then and then fill that uh, fill that stack up. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and fill this stack up, and then the rest of it will go into the uh, rest of it will go to be processed. There we go. I really hope that I really hope that worked the way I thought it would. Did this go in here? Let's just double check. It did go in here. So this has a lot of iron to process, but uh, it'll be fine. I mean, we're, we're using a lot of power, but I was totally expecting that, so, yeah. How much gold do I have, by the way? 86. Ugh. How, 
how does you know, what is gold? Uh, gold is yellow, and it's in Badlands. It's thirty-two to eighty with a weight of sixteen. In any biome except the end, it's min y max thirty-two with a weight of six. Okay. Yeah, so this is any Badlands, which, you know, that's pretty good. Okay, so I think I have a plan. The plan is I need to get more diamonds and gold. And hold on, let's double check this. Gold was yellow. Nether gold you cannot get from the laser drill, which is fine. That is totally, that. that's just fine. I'm okay with that. So wait, why is there... Why are there two of these world gen things? Uh, I don't know, but it'll be fine. So yeah, we'll need to... Uh, we'll need to... Uh, we'll need to absolutely, like, uh, get some yellow and some, uh, and some light blue laser lenses. Because, again, I'm running out of diamonds and gold. And I need a lot of that for Draconic. So let's let's get some lenses. So, uh, so the lenses will need glass panes. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need another set of them. Yeah. So we're really making six of these. Three of them will be yellow, and then three of them will be light blue. Uh, corn flour. Oh, wait. Uh, and then white. Nope. Bone meal. All right. Um, light blue dye. There we go. And then just really easy, uh, really easy. We just need to, oh. Yeah, just do that. There we go. Yeah, I mean, my, uh, I might as well just go ahead and do some lenses just because, uh, just because it's gonna be very annoying to try to get some of this stuff. Like, all right, all right, like I mean, yeah, I think you know what I mean. So we'll just use the lenses to give myself a bit more, uh, a bit more of a chance to get, uh, to get uh, diamonds and gold, and so that uh, so that way I have more of that stuff going forward. And then we're gonna need to go to the Nether. Where's my charge border? Here it is. Nether. Here we go. And then these lenses go in here. I think. I think yellow has, I think yellow has a higher chance of making glowstone spawn as well, which is not amazing, but you know, gold. It's going to take a little bit for it. It's probably going to take a little bit for this to start working. Oh, it's going to take, a, it's going to take a really long time for this to start working just because, uh, oh, I think light, isn't light blue, oh, light blue is shared by Sardis and Sardis has a higher weight. But not at the Y level that I'm that I'm drilling at. Okay. So there's there was a piece of gold. So that's uh, that's going uh, that's going to be processed. Uh, but it's going to it's going to obviously take some time. It's going to obviously take some time for me to get a bunch of a bunch more resources for this. So I think I think maybe now would be a good time to just uh, say. Yeah, now would probably be a good time to like end the episode and just like uh, get some they just get some stuff for next time, uh, just because, uh, just because uh, you know getting stuff is gonna take a while and uh, and I I want to fully kit out my uh, my stuff, like with a shield for this and probably more energy modules for this just so uh, just so I can hold a lot of power, because holding a lot of power would be very nice for a draconic, but uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode of Kirby's Modern Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed getting started, or, well, actually, continuing on with Draconic and getting some pretty good stuff with uh, with the capacitor and the chestplate. 
stay tuned next time. We're probably going to kit this out a bit more and mm, who knows, maybe, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get more into power production. I don't know. I need, I need to do the mechanism stuff at some point, just because, uh, just because of the mechanism, like uh, fission reactors, it's really good for power production. And if I'm going to be using a lot of power in the future, like, uh, like making antimatter, that would probably be a good idea. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.